Welcome back to our channel guys. Today we're going to do something absolutely amazing. Something we've been waiting to see for so long. We are going to visit one of Mexico's most impressive natural wonders. So without further ado, let's go to Canon de Sur Madero. Good morning! <laughs> uh, we're in Tuxtla Guiteres at the moment, which is the capital of Chiapas. We've been sleeping here the last two nights in a nice Airbnb. And from here we have to take a Colectivo, which is like a shared little minivan, to the center. And from there we have to take another Colectivo to Chapa del Corso. That's where the canyon actually starts. So these are the Colectivos here and they all gather here, so we have to find out which one we have to take. Okay, we got dropped off somewhere by the first Colectivo, and now we have to find the second one. We woke up early because we heard that when you are going through the canyon on a boat, there's absolutely no shade. So it can get really, really hot during the day. So we wanted to catch the um, like one of the first boats. Because we stepped out of the Colectivo too early, we have to walk to Tuxla right now. And it's actually really nice because we see the city kind of waking up. Tuxla is actually often skipped by travelers. Usually travelers base themselves in San Cristobal de las Casas which is about a one hour drive from here. It's a beautiful city, but we decided we wanted to stay in Tuxla for a while to also yeah, get the vibe here of the capital. And well, one of its landmarks is this church behind me, which comes from 16th century, I believe. Chapa, chapa. Chapa, chapa. How do you like your seats, babe? <laughs> <laughs> so most people when they go to the canyon they just book a tour from San Cristobal de las Casas but we decided to do it by ourselves and it takes a little bit more time but it saves money and you have a way more adventurous experience. <laughs> We have arrived in Chapa del Corso and first impressions is that it's actually a really beautiful old colonial town. Like look at this behind me. And I think that this is where we are gonna take our first real drone shot ever. Right, babe? Yeah, let's do it now. We bought two tickets for 540 pesos, so 270 pesos each, which is a bit over 10 euros. And now we have to wait about half an hour because they want to like fill up the boat until we are 18 people and then we leave. We are literally three minutes on the boat and <laughs> it feels so hot. It's like I don't have a hat. We're gonna have no shade for the next two hours. Oh my god. Fingers crossed, I will survive.
sleepy now. It was amazing. So relaxing again. So then. Wow. That was an amazing experience. I didn't film or say much during the ride because I really wanted to enjoy it. And also sometimes the boat was going really fast. Um, but the canyon is so beautiful. It's impressive. I haven't seen anything like it. You feel so tiny when you're going through the canyon and you see these huge limestone cliffs, super green. You see caves everywhere big birds really feels like you're in a different time in a different world um, it's, it's kind of unreal I think I'm still <laughs> processing it beautiful experience I think I, I think I don't even realize it now I really would love a nap <laughs> Wow how immensely impressive that canyon is well if you're watching right now and you're kind of new to our channel just to know we are Lotus and George and we sold everything we own to travel the world indefinitely. Right now we're about three months on our journey so I think it's the right time to subscribe because there are a lot of new adventures and countries coming up. But let's go back to Tuxla because it's time to see this canyon from above. Actually when you go to the canyon you get this little bracelet which is your entrance to the national park here and it actually means that you are allowed to enter this whole area so it's not just to go through the canyon with a boat tour yesterday we were super exhausted because it was a pretty packed day so we decided to do it with fresh energy and that is today and not only our fresh energy but today we are with Cesar he's from here uh, from Tuxla yeah we're having a really good time with him so we're gonna introduce him to you right now hola oh, hola so we are in the first viewpoint Yes. Mirador La Ceiba is the name with our friend uh, Cesar. Hola. So nice to have you along. We're thank you. <laughs> you yes. Thank we you, thank you. It's gonna be a nice day. Let's yes. go. Let's go. <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> Which one is your favorite viewpoint? I think the last one. The last one is amazing. Okay, let's see that. <laughs> for one more day, we're not sure for the weather here in Tuxla. <laughs> we came in the rain season. So we left the first viewpoint and we're going straight away to the last one because we want to uh, be there before the rain <laughs> starts. Uh, we want the people to come to Tuxla because we have a lot of things to do and Chiapas is not only San Cristobal and Palenque, you know? Yes, So everybody is welcome here. Yes. And have a great time. Oh no! Is this a little rain? I think this is rain. Oh no! No, no, aquí. Falta uno. Falta <laughs> uno? We're learning some Spanish here from Cesar. Spanish lessons on the road. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this place behind us. Yesterday we were on the little boats. We were going through the canyon and you just see these super impressive big walls around you and you feel so small. But if you see it from here, up here, it's like so green and you don't even realize it when you're down there. So it's definitely worth it to see it from below and from up here it's like gives a total different perspective for both of us it's really one of the yeah the most impressive natural thing we've seen in nature right we've never seen something so impressive so immense <laughs> curious now for this type of food. Hola, Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. So nice this place and really Mexican. 
very local, we would not have found it. And just look at this wall behind me, so bright and yellow. Botanas basically is the little foods, like these plates, little portions you can share with the people in the table. And, but you have also a lot of food that you can take from the, the menu, you know? It's amazing. So, give us a, a tour. Impression of how it should be done? Yes. Okay, so this is how we eat. Mm. Take the tortilla. I'm, I'm just copying, yeah? Mm. Fold it. Then we break it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then you just use this. Put some nice guacamole. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it right? Perfect. <laughs> Gracias. There we go. That was super nice. And now we are all a bit sleepy. Yes, thank you guys. You are very well amazing. Guys. Have a nice night. <laughs> See you soon. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, I don't like saying goodbye. I think I have to stop traveling so I don't have to say goodbye anymore to people. Oh, yeah. No brainstorm, no work, no work, no laptops, no phones. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> well, guys, as you understood, that was it for now. See you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> don't forget to subscribe! There's a wooden stick in the engine. <laughs> but now we're stuck in the canyon. Are we gonna spend the, the afternoon here on the boat in the middle of the canyon? Yes. I think yes. <laughs> Another boat came to save us. So Rafael is our amigo Mexicano. <laughs> The He's best singer, sing. he always likes to sing in the canyons. Thanks, friend, George, Lotus. You are on, on the stage. Me voy a echar amor de cabaret, amigos, porque es la única que traigo más movidita. Suena y dice. Dentro del alma Y quiero ahogarla con vino Y caricias de amor Mi vida no tiene remedio Perdido ya estoy En este medio maldito de amargura y dolor, amores de cabaret, pero es sincero, amor de cabaret, que se paga con dinero, ay, amor. Gracias, hermoso. <laughs>